Well, hello and welcome to Chasing the Dollar, brought to you by Sporting Bet. Ben Damon is my name, and we're getting towards that very, very exciting time of year. The golden Easter egg is just around the corner, and one man who is very excited about that because he's right in form. A couple of quaddies back-to-back. -back. Adam Pengelly, you're going very, very well at the moment. Yeah, we're not going too badly, Ben. We lucked out at the Meadows last week with the Australian Cup, but when he was pretty kind to us, another quad. He wasn't quite as big as the week before, but he still turned a decent profit. Really looking forward to this meeting on Saturday night at Wentworth Park. So sort of once the Australian Cup finishes, we know the Golden Easter Egg's just around the corner. I know a bit of the focus is on Richmond, but I'm still looking forward to the Preludes on Saturday night. Yeah, most certainly. There are, of course, three Preludes on the program. We'll have two of them in the quaddie, and the winners of these Preludes will go straight into the draw for the Golden Easter Egg. So they are very, very important races. One of them is the first leg of the quaddie. It is race number five on the program. We've got the Bathurst Gold Cup winner, which is Zipping Tess getting about here. And, Adam, you think this is just about a good thing? I think it's very close to a good thing here, Ben. The only query I had in this race is where Wentworth Park Park record's not too flush. I think she only won about one from 12 at Wentworth Park, but I think she's got the right box to win here on Saturday night. Someone Tiffy has a little bit of ability on her outside, but tends to track a little bit wide at the first turn. Lady in Black is a straight tracker on the inside. And then coming back to Wentworth Park after that beautiful win in the Bathurst Gold Cup, I think she's close to a good thing here, and she should be able to dominate out in front. I black book number six, Linsky, after his effort last week behind Van Caro Flash. I thought it was an absolutely super run, and I'm probably determined to have a little saver on him in this race here as well. He's the knockout chance for mine if he can get away from the boxes quickly on Saturday night. I thought number five, someone Tiffy was the next uh, best, next best coming to Wentworth Park for the first time. Number eight, Waylon Joy goes in for fourth. So my numbers were four, six, five, and eight. OK, well, that'll take us along to race number six on the program. There was a good thing in the first race there for us of the quaddy, but this one is a little bit tougher. You'll have to do a fair bit of the Richmond form from the last couple of weeks to line these up. Where are you going? I think this is a really tough race, Ben, and to be honest, I think my top four selections could really have them in any order. I'm going to go with Pumped Up Zar here, who I thought has shown enough in his last two starts, suggesting he can be a force in this type of race. He looks like a really progressive type of stayer. The only problem is he finds a whole lot of trouble in his race. He runs up a lot of backsides here. In this race, he's should be charging late with an unimpeded run. I think get over the top of him and win. So number three, pumped up Zah is my top selection in the race. I thought number five, Little Red, was the big danger. Has run 42-5 at Wentworth Park before and has claims in this race. Number eight, got a problem. going absolutely great guns at the moment. The rising five-year-old. The draw is going to be a little bit tricky, though, so I'm only putting him in for third. Number four, Folk Folktales goes in for fourth. My numbers are three, five, eight, and four. Well, the third leg of the quaddie is race number seven on the program. This is another of the preludes for the Golden Easter Egg. Probably these are next-level greyhounds with trainers and owners having a bit of throw at the stumps of getting a start in the Golden Easter Egg drawer. And why wouldn't they? It is a massive race, that is for sure. So that is the way that they look for this one. Where do you go here? I think it's another really tricky race here, Ben, but I'm going for a bit of a blowout with number six, He's Rising Fast. Now, he's definitely no superstar, this Greyhound, but he's fairly honest, generally runs around the 34, 35 mark. The one thing I do like about him is he's got a lot of early toes, so he's going to put himself in this race. There is a little bit of early speed drawn right across the track, so you have to step pretty cleanly, but I loved his effort behind Rudakan last start. I think if he can put himself in the race, possibly lead, there's a bit of trouble behind. I think number six, He's Rising Fast, might present a bit of value on Saturday night. Number five, Rex Roth goes in for second. He's an honest Pup sort of runs around that 32 33 mark. He does go a little wide at the first turn, which might be a bit of concern for He's Rising Fast, but he has cl claims in this race as well. Number four, Solar Pack was absolutely sensational last week, running pretty decent time. Probably wins if she runs up to that level again on Saturday night. And number two, Mirror Reflection goes in for fourth. My numbers are six, four, five, and two. Well, race eight is a very, very interesting race. It is the final leg of the quaddy. I think there are about seven heats for this Blue Paws event last week, so we've got plenty of last start winners. Let's have a look at exactly how the field does line up with this box draw making things very interesting. Chica, Des Chica Descatada, they're calling it, and a 29.80, I think, the dog went last week, which is a flying time. Can it go again? It's an absolute mouthful, Ben. Chica Descatada. Yeah, she was really impressive last week. Interested to see what price she comes up on Saturday night. Ran 29.80. I think there's a couple of other chances in the race, to be honest, too, but it's hard not to like her run last week. I'm not her as the leader. If she does lead, she can be awfully hard to run down. She might be a smoky to make it into the Golden Easter Egg Series and possibly progress to something like the semi-finals or even the final. She keeps improving. So number six, Chica Destacada, my top pick in the race. Now, I thought the big danger might have been number one, Cyclone Simone. It might pay to see if we can get some sort of price about her. Last week, she got hampered early in the first 10 or 20 metres. We've got a dream run through the first turn along the inside, and she really savaged the line late. I think she can do the same thing again here. She might be a chance to cause a ball over at some sort of price. Number eight, Vinnie Kruger goes in for third. A greyhound has got a massive motor. He's going to need luck from the draw. Number seven, remote control goes in for fourth. My numbers are six, one, eight and seven.
OK, Adam, well, that is your look at the quaddy legs. Now it is time to get into your best bet on the program. Race three, number four, Zipping Gilbert Band. Marty Hallinan has brought the Bathurst Gold Cup runner-up to Wentworth Park to have a go of this staying trip. I respect that decision. While this race has got a couple of de decent chances, I think it's a pretty good thing on the card. OK, and your value comes up in one of the legs of the quaddy. Yeah, it certainly does, Ben. Race seven, number six, he's rising fast. If he flies the lids again, there's a little bit of trouble behind. He's going to probably need to find a few lengths, but I think there's a big chance at some sort of value as well. OK, this is the important time. This is why they're tuning in. You're on fire with the Quaddy of late. What is it this week? Yeah, got to try and get it again. Three weeks in a row would be very nice. Uh, in the first leg, I'm going with Zipping Tesk and just throwing in Linsky for a bit of value. In the second leg, I've included Pumped Up Czar, Little Red and Got a Problem. In the third leg, we'll go with He's Rising Fast, Solar Pack and Rexroth. And if we're still alive, we're coming home with Chica Destacada and Cyclone Simone with a bit of value in the last. OK, the very best of luck with the Quaddy. We're getting right towards a very exciting time of year, aren't we? It certainly is an exciting time of year, man. Looking forward to the periods on Saturday night. Can't wait for the series to start in a few weeks' time. No, we cannot. And we'll see you soon on Chasing the Dollar.